What's up, guys? I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Ass Fall. To hope y'all guys ready for a little adventure. Let's ride. Four o'clock quitting time. Get this thing locked up. Head on down the road. That's right. Get rolling down the road here, end of another great work week behind us. Glad to get that uh, a pair at work apparel off. Put my racing shirt and my racing hat on. We'll get got a big weekend uh, planned ahead of us. Gonna get up here to Anderson, South Carolina, Jansen's house. We'll jump over from one Chevrolet to another Chevrolet and we'll get on 85 and roll. Gonna stop and get us a little bush water while we can somewhat still afford it before the war makes the gas prices go through the roof. But uh, Got a big weekend ahead of us. Going to do a lot of traveling this weekend. Really looking forward to it. We'll be uh, be telling you about where all we're going, sights and that we're going to see here shortly. Take note of this for when we go back and watch this in a year, we may say, dang, that cheap gas there. Y'all know we got to fill big wide up. This thing stays thirstier than the town drunk. Put a little push water in, go fight some of this 85 afternoon Friday traffic. Hour and 15 minute drive. Got my favorite snack from childhood, a Yoo-Hoo and a Slim Jim. Y'all may talk crap. Don't talk it till you try it, though. For the ones of you that enjoy this, you know how we do it. Y'all ready for it? Here it come. 85 on 85. We can't go too damn fast, but the gas too expensive. We just have to ease our way up there. Anderson, South Carolina, here we come. Pulled over on the side of the road, thought I done had me a right rear flat. Heard clinging and pinging going down the road. That's why I throw them out the window. Y'all won't get on me about littering. I didn't have to pull over. I just throwed it out the window. All right, let's try it again. 85 on 85. Ain't gonna stop again till I see rubber flying above the truck. Yeah, look like 45 on 85, more like it. We gonna get run over on the restart. Sing in. Song, song of the sound, sweet potato pie in a shut my mouth. Hell, I gotta do something to keep myself entertained on this boring ride up 85. It's lower than a speed limit ride, so we're gonna keep boogieing. We'll be there shortly. Tell you what our plans are for the weekend. So we made it up here to Jansen's house, so uh, jump in from one Chevrolet to another Chevrolet. We're gonna hop back on 85. It's a nice neighborhood, ain't it? You gotta lock it. Hop up in the Z71, we'll hit the road. And hop in this passenger seat over here. My favorite thing about going racing with Jansen, I ain't got to drive. Well, we on the road to Asheboro, North Carolina. We'll tell you shortly what we're going up there for. Snag little brother, the you who Slim Jim stature for him. He always oh, yeah. want to talk junk about it. Get that Dr. Pepper. That's yeah, he got to drink it, and then he'll see what the old you who Slim Jim's all about. It changed his way of thinking. I-85 North. Mudging on to I-85. Y'all know the deal, 85. Well, Jansen driving probably damn 105 on 85, but uh, we gonna get there. So uh, y'all hold on. Well, we got rolling down the road pretty good. So uh, making some good time. We headed up to Asheboro, North Carolina tonight. We uh, got some testing tomorrow with the Hedgecock Racing Team tomorrow morning at Caraway Speedway in uh, preparations for the 30,000 win cars tour race coming up in two weeks. So uh, me and Jansen just rolling along Feel good. Find somewhere to eat. Yeah, man, kind of hungry, so he's trying to find a bite to eat. So, uh, gonna take uh, both cars tomorrow, ain't you? Yeah, and yeah. We got to get a new car uh, built in. Uh, I think uh, Con Connor Hall's running a few times, and then Brendan Queen. So, uh, we're gonna go try it. But try both cars to see which one we like better. Um, you know, obviously, thirty thousand um, dollars. You got to make sure you got the best car. You know, you got two. Might as well try both of them, see what can happen. So, uh, we're gonna try try out both and then see where they go. Absolutely. So uh, well, that'll be what we're doing tomorrow. We'll be at Caraway Speedway. So uh, and then Sunday we're gonna ease on up to Motor Mile Speedway in Virginia. It's about uh, I think it's like a two-hour trip up north. So uh, we got the Cars Tour Media Day for uh, for a thing that Jansen got selected for since the last time we seen you. hadn't uh, hadn't been able to tell you about it. So uh, check this video out right here, and you'll see what it's all about. Eleven. Also be running for Rookie of the Year. Driving for Jay Hedgecock Enterprises, be Jansen March Banks. Um, Jansen is a young man from out of South Carolina, the 2022 South Carolina Rookie of the Year. Competed at Florence Motor Speed Fair for the majority of 2021. Made his Cars Tape Cars Tour debut 
when we had to make shift and move the Old North State Nationals to Greenville Pickens at the end of the year in 2022, so, or 2020. Um, but uh, Kaylee, talk a little bit about the decision to go in and, and, and have Mr. Mark Spanks as a member of the Tour in 12. I met Jansen um, at Martinsville last year and he approached me and you know he was kind of getting some more information on the series. So I think he had already had it in the back of his mind that, that this is what he really wanted to do this year. Um, very, very nice kid. Um, he's excited to go racing, you know, obviously too with, with him racing for Hedgecock, they're a supporter of us as well. So um, th this one, th this one's a good pick. Well, I know his dad was excited because he stopped me at Florence the, on the weekend and said, man, I love the podcast and I can't wait for Tuesday. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope he is relieved. But, um, but yeah, super, super nice family. And I think they'll do a great job of representing the Cars Tour in 2022. He's great with social media also. We, we did look at that. And so I think he'll, he'll represent us well. Right. Well, there's one left. So welcome back. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. That was a, a huge deal to be selected for the Cars Tour Tour and 12 for uh, for Jansen this year. There's a, a ton of bonuses that come with that. A, a little bit of help at the racetrack money-wise and uh, just all kinds of different stuff that we'll uh, be able to tell you about in the coming weeks on uh, on everything that he gets. So uh, I know that they, they did the announcement over Facebook Live and uh, I know I was excited. I know yes. you was excited. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. He was he was uh, he was coming home from uh, from work and uh, over there at Door Tech and uh, he'd been throwing them garage doors around all day and, and I get off at four so we was both, you know, watching it. We didn't know each other was watching it, but as soon as they said his name, hey, we, we both lost our uh, or marbles and uh, couldn't get on the phone to holler at each other quick enough. So uh, I dumped my bologna sandwich right out on the floor. But that's all right. I, I made another one. So uh, what do you think when you heard that name called? Man, it was it was uh, huge. It was really exciting for sure um, to get selected out of all the drivers that applied for the Touring 12. And uh, it's just a great series. Um, great great group of people that run it. Keely and Jack do a great job with the series. I'm really looking forward to uh, to running it the the series this year and. And hoping we can have some success and, and overall just have fun so um you know like like boo mentioned there's a lot of uh pluses that come with it and a lot of uh, bonuses and stuff so works out perfect um i'm really looking forward to it and uh just can't thank everybody at cars tour enough for you know selecting me obviously and um hope to uh, hope to have some good runs this year but it was it was really really exciting to uh to hear my name called you know with all the the tough drivers tough competition out there there's a lot of good people running it this year so i'm sure they all applied and to be selected you know for for the touring 12 it was it was a huge honor absolutely i know they said uh they was 22 drivers applied for the tour in 12 and they selected 12 i think there was five uh, veterans and seven rookies if I'm uh, not mistaken, so, you know, the rookie of the year class will be extremely tough this year just by itself, you know. I mean, it's hard enough to win a, a championship. Bobby McCarty will be able to tell you more about that. But, you know, just the rookie of the year this year will be a race in itself, you know, a 15-race schedule going all over the southeast. So uh, really, really looking forward to a huge opportunity for the both of us, you know, Jansen on the driving side and, and me on the video side of it. So uh, looking forward to uh, to making a, a ton of memories this year, just two blessed country boys that going to get to live out a dream. So uh, and that dream, you know, kicks off tomorrow at Caraway Speedway with uh, getting ready for the, the basically the biggest race of the Cars Tour schedule all year, the 200 lap, 30,000 a win race at a caraway speedway so now y'all know what we got going on this weekend uh you know a full day of testing tomorrow and then we got the cars tour media day on sunday so uh we're gonna get on up the road see what other adventures we can get into looks like we got the first caution of the trip right now so i guess we're gonna watch the sunset over greenville because uh don't look like we're going nowhere too fast and still trying see if we can uh get some people to like comment and subscribe while we sitting in traffic i guess <laughs> In our travels, it ain't usually seen at night, but there's the famous peach. If you've watched any of our videos, every time we roll by, I'm from the peach state, but uh, for whatever reason, there's a peach up here in the Palmetto State. Get y'all a good look at it at night time. Palmetto State's where, the, where it's at. They got Georgia beat when it comes to the peaches. Yeah, got them beat with the big old hemorrhoid hanging out the bottom <laughs> too, that Fred likes to point out. <laughs> We'll finally get out of the dang death trap. We made it through, just need some new shocks. Soon as you roll into North Carolina, look. Now we're back to smooth sailing. 
No uh, Bubba Barriers from the Gresham Motorsports Park days, if anybody remembers. Now we're back to smooth sailing. That's good. That's good. Though. Can we find Chick Fil A already? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. I, I'm yeah. Lord Sweet Tea. Lord Sweet Tea. Yeah, All right. Yeah. If we don't slow down, we're gonna yeah, pack this car in front of us. Yeah. Finally found us a Chick Fil A to roll in too. Gonna be about 48th in line, but we want some chicken. The Jesus is chicken. Got one taking us on the outside, going around. We got the double file restart cone here at the Dolores Chicken Shack. Yeah. It looks like we're gonna take the outside lane. Hopefully, that'll roll a little quicker. Yeah, hopefully we don't uh we don't get banged up in the process. Yeah, exactly. The outside's always tough, but oh, there goes the bottom's working good. Yeah, top lane's pretty stopped up, if you ask me. We ain't moving at all, boy. Inside lane rolling. Yeah, they on fresh yeah. tires. We on old tires. Yeah, we got. We need uh, we need four tires and fuel, if you ask me. We getting we we done got hung out to dry. We ain't never gonna get chicken. Well, we aborted the restart line to go in and sit down and eat. I figured we'd get done a whole lot quicker that way. Stroll on into the Lord's Chicken Shack. Yeah. Made it North Carolina safe anyway. Oh, yeah. Sure. Lord's Chicken Shack, I think I need to redo the parking lot. Yeah, they work on this little uh, drive through situation a little bit. Hey, man, I was starting to wonder if you're going to get any food now. Yeah, you might say you're starting to act like your daddy. Yeah. All that, that outside yeah. line wasn't working for you. Yeah. We had to roll on in. I'll we'll get you to calm down, Jason Jr. <laughs> man, no way to 10 minutes on chicken sandwich. All yeah. that guy's chicken. Mm -hmm. Tell what, Lord, going to have to come down on them now, give them a bad review or something. Yeah, yeah. Hop on back on the road. <laughs> Head on to that part of North Carolina. On the road again. I didn't know you knew songs like that. You've been so, a young buck. You don't know about that old Willie Nelson. What you talking about? Mm, son, we're going to learn some. Out, yeah, right? well, don't play it on here. They'll copyright yeah, us. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're going to get it without after us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling by the Charlotte Motor Speedway exit. Jansen was real successful in legend cars. How many races did you win over there? I know oh, you yeah. you done a bunch of wins over there at the summer yeah. shootout. Yeah, I think we, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was like three or four wins we got over there, man. We... You know, obviously I ran for uh, Ryan Farbo, Farbo Motorsports, and uh, we had some success over there. And you traveled so much in those things, but winning at the uh, at the summer shootout was a big, big ordeal just because of the competition level. It's kind of like a cars tour almost. Yeah, so, legend cars. Um, yeah, basically a cars tour, legend cars. So it was, it was a good time. I always enjoyed going over there. Good crowd, and um, you know, to, to say I've won a few races there is very, very cool. You know, coming by here now and, and the memories that that kick in when I see that sign. You know, when we Farbo and everybody used to travel up here. It was, you know, I've never seen that sign, you know, every time we come up here. So it brings back some memories for sure. That whole uh, bump the past thing in legend cars, that, that seems to got worked its way into the late model world. Do you think that's a bad thing? Teaching people, you know, to bump the past in the legend cars? You think that's something that needs to stay in legend cars and, yeah, and not like, come? Or Yeah, like legend cars are just a different atmosphere. You know, you got. You got flat metal bumpers that you can just kind of go in there and when you hit somebody it just moves them up the tracks you know late models are a little different it's something i've struggled with you kind of have to get under the left rear fender and just kind of move them up you can't really necessarily go in and hit them because you'll cave the front you know nose in yeah. and knock the radiator off or whatever so um it's always you know a little different in, in each car that you race but i think it needs to stay in legend cars and, and you know you every car there's different ways of passing just like an open wheel modified um you have to, uh, you really can't move in those. I mean, open wheel, you hop, wheel hop somebody and flip. So there's no moving, you know, in those. And, and you know, somebody like Caleb Hetty, my buddy, that, that, you know, he runs open wheel modifieds. He's even said, you gotta, it's a totally different ball game with, uh, with you know, running those compared to legend cars with how you could, how you can move people and stuff in legend cars and you can't do it in the, than the modified. So definitely, uh, definitely different for sure. So something you have to adjust to moving into the late model. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about our, our buddy Caleb. We, oh, uh, yeah. we, uh, we was rode with him during the summer shootout this year with the kicking ass fall oh, vlog. Yeah. We're gonna have to go check him out at some of them smart yeah, tour races right, if, if me right. or you ain't racing. Oh, yeah. I had to go throw a camera on his modified. That's so, right. uh, okay, Caleb, okay, he probably has some success. He's a wheel man, he's good on that modified. No doubt about it. That joker can roll. There ain't no doubt about it. We about, uh, got about another hour before we get to where we get to take a nap. So, uh, just rolling through these empty back roads of Charlotte. Made our way off 85 into the dark, dark hills of, uh, where we at? Uh, Asheboro so, yeah, or something Ashboro, like that. Asheboro, yeah. North Ashboro. Carolina. Yep. We could run backwards down the interstate in reverse because we ain't seen a car for miles. But we're getting a little tired. It's a little after 10 o'clock. We got to be up early, be at Carraway Speedway. So we ain't got but about five more minutes till we 
roll into the no-tail motel for the night. We finally found the town part of everything. We're rolling up into the Hampton Inn to call it a night. Turn left. Mighty sleepy. Way. Boy, she, she mean, ain't she? Yeah, she her up, turn she left. Yeah, she forceful. Check out my luggage bag. That way when we fly or wherever we go, I'm in style. Oh, the biggest thing is I don't lose my bag. Hampton Inn will be home for the night. And get Jansen to roll on in here. We go to sleep. Get about six, seven hours of sleep. We got to be at the racetrack. No matter what racetrack we go to, we always end up at the end of the hall. Oh, we got the middle of the hall. Okay, I feel like we done walk six miles. Give it a push. Give it a key. Some children. This is already gonna be. It, this is already south, south of the border motor in again. <laughs> uh oh, already bad start to the weekend. You don't reckon there's gonna be chalk on the ground in there, do you? Yeah, use both arms. All right. Oh, it's way better than south of the border here. Yeah, Well, we made it safe and sound to uh, Asheboro, North Carolina. So uh, we'll sit here and chill for a second. Get us some. Uh, Pillows fluff, and we're gonna call it an evening. We got an early wake up call in the morning, so uh, we're about 15 minutes away from the Caraway Speedway. So, uh, hopefully, go up there and be happy to, uh, tomorrow. Got uh, two cars to uh, to shake down and see which one like best for the 30,000 to win 200 lap race coming up in uh, two weeks, March 12th and 13th. You'll be able to watch it on Cars Tour TV. So, uh, Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you watched this far, I uh, know there wasn't no racing, but y'all stay tuned all weekend. It's going to be an action-packed weekend, a lot of different stuff going on. So uh, thank you for uh, being on the ride. But other than that, y'all know what to do. Comment, like, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.